Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I'm going to be going over the Team of the Week Super Bowl content. Uh, I wish they would have, like, Super Bowl, like, for the winning team, uh, like they did in Madden 12 and in Madden 13, I think. Uh, they gave, like, a Super Bowl, like, they released, like, six Super Bowl collect, coll or players, and then you did the collection, and you got some coins, and you got them back with boosts. Uh, I, I wish they would have done something cool like that, but sticking with the... Uh, Cookie Cutter Team of the Week Super Bowl. Let's hop into this. The hero is Julian Edelman, and they only came out with three players. Uh, Tony McDaniel, Malcolm Butler, and Rob Ninkovich. And then the game-winning interception Team of the Week collectible, which I do have that pack I will open up. So first we'll start off with the Tony McDaniel. And he is currently going for 25 k so a pretty hefty price so far. Uh, but I would say if you want to do this collection like I do, uh, just give it some time, wait, see who wants uh, people who have to go to school uh, or aren't in college that uh, are at school for a long set amount of time uh, get home. So around uh, 6 Eastern, 7 Eastern, uh, Eastern 7 Eastern time, uh, and then like 4 Pacific time, that's when everybody... Will most likely be off school around then, so that's when I would check to try to buy these cards. But let's go over this Tony McDaniel stats. Uh, yeah, two tackles, one tackle for a loss, and one pass uh, deflection to prevent a first down. Uh, he's got 67 speed, 91 strength, 91 tackle, 90 block shed, 92 power move, 63 finesse move, 75 play rec, and 83 pursuit. So all in all, pretty solid card, but at this point in what, in 85, how many people are going to use this? Uh, other than Seahawks fans or people who uh, are trying to make an all-Seahawks team. Not really a huge purpose for that. Uh, Rob Ninkovich here is a 92 overall. Um, I want to pick him up, but not for 120 k which was what he is currently going for. Uh, probably wait maybe till Thursday to do this collection, see what I can see what these cards come down to. Uh, but the Ninkovich, uh, 84 speed, 87 strength, 88 acceleration. 97 tackle, 88 block shed, 96 power move, 62 finesse, and 90 play rec. Uh, he has six tackles, two QBs hit, QB hits, one tackle for a loss, and one sack. Uh, let's see here inside of his uh, some hidden stats maybe. 88 excel, 81 jumping, not terrible. Uh, 92 pursuit. Uh, 95 stamina, that's good. 93 hit power, that's pretty good. So, this Ninkovich is a pretty solid card. I'll look to pick him up to add him to my team. I uh, just gotta kinda let, uh, let his price come down. Because if you think about it, if I do this collection, um, it would co it's gonna cost me somewhere around 250k. Then I'm gonna have to buy the Malcolm Butler and the Rob Ninkovich, will, which will cost me like 200k again. Uh, so I'm just gonna hold off. Uh, now the hero of the Super Bowl for the Patriots, Malcolm Butler. Uh, with the uh, with the pick of Russell Wilson on the final uh, drive the Seahawks had to try to win it. Uh, a questionable play call from Pete Carroll uh, or uh, uh, whatever his name is, the offensive coordinator. Uh, most likely he was the offensive coordinator, and Pete Carroll uh, is just taking the blame uh, for the better of the team. His reasoning was decent uh, that the fact that if they throw it there and it's incomplete, uh, which is what you expect out of those short slant. You don't really expect it to be bid on that bad by Malcolm Butler. Uh, but you, he expected maybe uh, if they didn't get it, they would get to uh, then they could run it and use their last timeout uh, and then have uh, uh, third that well would that have been third down. They throw the interception on first or second. I don't know, but they would have had third down then again pass again and then maybe fourth down to either run or pass it again as well. Uh, for the win, so his reasoning was decent, but it still doesn't make any sense on why he uh, why he threw it in the situation. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, but I'm happy about it because Patriots won. Uh, let's go over this Malcolm Butler, uh, 94 speed, 92 excel, 82 awareness, 90 agility, 95 man, 90 zone, 90 press, and 88 play rack. Really good. Uh, he had three tackles, three pass breakups, and the game winning interception. Uh, let's see here. He's got 83 catching, which is really good. Uh, definitely nice. Uh, 95 jumping. Uh, decent moves. Not that those really matter. Uh, 80 pursuit, 88 play rec. 
90 stamina, 97, or 95 injury, 86 catch and traffic, 48 spectacular catch, uh, 64 hit power. So Malcolm Butler is a pretty solid card. You guys know I'll pick him up. I'm, I have my, like, second team that's an all-Patriots team, which I'll definitely be picking up. We got to back out of here to uh, check out this Julian Edelman card. Let me... All right, all right. Let me open up this pack and get my badges and that collectible. I will be doing this, so I'll bring it to you guys once I get that uh, collection nailed out. But let's open this pack, see if I can pull an elite badge. So bronze badge... Bronze, bronze, and there is the team of the week goal, game winning interception uh, by Malcolm Butler. All right, now let's go take a look at uh, this Julian Edelman. Search the auction. Wide receiver. 95 to 9-9. And then Patriots, even though I know it's going to show the Dion branch, but that's not a big deal. All right, so he is currently going for 280K, so not bad. He'll come down here real quick because he's not really a card that people are uh, looking to pick up, but uh, he's 96 overall, long pass and speed run chemistries, a 94 speed, 90 awareness, 96 catching, 94 elusiveness, 92 spec catch, 95 release, 94 route running, and 98 catch in traffic. He had 9 receptions for 190 yards and the go-ahead touchdown catch with 2 minutes remaining. 2 minutes and 2 seconds to be exact. Let's go take a look at his depth chart stats, see if he's got anything good uh, hidden here. 80 carrying, so pretty nice. Uh, throw power is a 76 and throw accuracy is a 68, so it's interesting. 88 jumping, 92 kick return, uh, 95 ball carrier vision. A really good spin and juke moves at 92 and 95, respectively. Uh, let's see. 90 injury, 98 stamina. That's nice. Uh, 98 catch and traffic, really nice. Uh, 94 route running is pretty good. Uh, 95 release. Toe the runs is 78. Uh, so all in all, solid card. I'll obviously be adding him to my team, uh, to the squad. But for right now, I'm just going to hold off, wait for his price to come down a little bit, and hopefully maybe get him for like 100k or so. That'd be really nice to be able to pick him up for that price. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and let me know if you're going to be using any of the... Uh any of these Super Bowl cards for a team of the week. I'm interested to see football outsiders. I would have to assume Chris Matthews would get a football outsiders. Uh, Gronk, maybe you'll get a football outsiders. Um, maybe, I don't know, who else will get a football outsiders? Maybe somebody on the offensive line for the Patriots. Um, hmm. That's about all I can think of. Uh, there's some defensive players that had a decent game. Maybe Bobby Wagner. But he's already got a 95, and I highly doubt they give a player from the losing team the 24-hour hero. Um, and let's see here. Maybe Jeremy Lane gets a card for that interception of Tom Brady in the first quarter. Uh, but I don't know. But I will catch you all in my next video. Peace out, guys.